Hey guys, Art here. So today is my second money making guide day. Today I will be showing free to play members, free to play members, on five money making methods. And in order to tell which is which, um, which is members and which is free to play, I'll have an F2P in parentheses on my money making guide. That way you can tell the difference. So other than that, let's get started. So right now I'm at the mining guild. Ignore the stuff in my inventory, except the coal bag. Um, if you have a coal bag, then you can use that and store more coal. In free to play, you'll want a room pickaxe. And if you are a member, then wear your best Varrock armor and wear a dragon pickaxe. And if you can't afford it, just wear a room pickaxe. And Oh, I also forgot. Each coal is worth 218 each. And if you want to save those up for bars, I'll be showing you that as in my second method. So, over here, if you want to uh, mine the iron. So you see I'm a member, so I got two iron at once from one spot. Alright, so now we got two coal, and each iron is worth 141 each, each coal is worth 218, so if you want to just collect coal and iron and sell that, you can, or your second option is upstairs, head west, yeah, I'll record when I get to Alright, so I'm at the furnace, I also forgot to show where the mining guild is. If you can't access the mine guild, you need 60 to access it. You can um, just mine in this area. If you have access to mine guild, there's mithril and coal in here. You, if you want to, you can make mithril bars. Those are about 1k each. And if you want to make steel, which is usually what a lot of players have access to, then it takes two coal and one iron to make it. And there's our steel bar. So you made a little bit of profit. So 218 plus 218 plus 141 is 577. So you made another too much profit per bar. And that's why I recommend you have the coal bag because you can store a whole entire inventory of coal in there and the coal in there will be used along with the iron that's in your inventory. So now I'm at the Grand Exchange, which is just right here. And now we're going to want to go in the Cook's Guild, which is just right there. You need... Let me see. You need 32 cooking to access the cooking guild. You can get that really fast. So just head over here. Now if you're a free to play member, then... You'll need a chef's hat to enter, on, so you need to wear a chef's hat on your head. Because uh, I completed Barak Task 3, I don't need to wear a chef hat. Right. So, you do. Grab the pie dish. Head downstairs. Pick up some wheat. Upstairs. Put this wheat in the hopper. Then activate the hopper controls. Then I'll grind the wheat for you. Grab the jug. If the jug isn't available, you can go down one floor and grab a bowl. So you got the empty pot and jug. 
go downstairs again. Grab the flower. Now not going to our pot. Use the jug on the pump. Bind the two. Now you got pastry dough. Now use the pastry dough and pie dish together. You got a pie shell. Each pie shell sells for six thirteen each. The only downside is it's um, the pie shell is it gives no experience. Okay, I'm back. So um, each pie dish is worth six thirteen each, but you don't get exper any experience from it. So that's the only downside to it, but it's pretty fast. What I recommend you do is you buy all the grain off the Grand Exchange. Oh, but if you can't buy it, then just go pick it from the grain field over there and use it on the hopper. The third, no, like the next method is um, like, the fourth method is by chopping yew trees. This was personally one of my favorite ways and free to play. Gives 175 experience per log, and each log is 497. It's a great way to make some money if you're free to play. And members, it's not as great. So, you know, you got magic, which you can always do if you're more AFKable on them. But you just chop really fast. And that's not because I have a high wood cutting level, but they chop pretty fast. Um, if you're a member, then you're gonna want to wear Dragon Hatchet and Strong Rabbit Foot. However, if you're free to play, which which would be the target audience of this video, then you'll wear a Rune Hatchet, and that's what I used to get all the way up to about 96 wood cutting, and the rest was from Dungeoneering, which everyone else got me an experience for that, so I didn't even hovel it up any. Um, so you can just chop yews for a hatchet and it's worth quite a bit. Alright, the next method is... Alright, well that was a fail. <laughs> the next method is by killing cows. Have this, uh, you know, you have your armor and stuff on. I'm not building any. You have your own scimitar, pick up the beef, bone, beef, bones, and cowhide. Each one is worth about 100 each, and the cowhide's worth 200 each. And if you want to increase your profits, just run to the Alcar Denner or Varak Denner. I'm just going to use the Alcar Cassini here, so I'll pause him. And I'm back on my I also forgot to mention uh, the location for the yew trees. I usually chop down here, but um, if you want to run southwest to Remington, you could just chop these, I believe it's four yew trees right here. Look out for bots though, because they are heavily botted, so I usually just go here because there's not usually too many bots. And you can just cabbage board there. And the vocation I'm at now for the cow hides is just north at one bridge I ran out and run east, ran east. I head north and this field is a cow field. And then for alcohol, just run south from there. And then over here to the tanner. And he will give you hard weather or soft weather. I always get hard weather because it's worth more and soft. And it's worth 255 each. Cost you three coins though. So it increases your profit some, but just killing the cows on their own is faster because you get four things instead of one. And again, if you have a whole entire batch of cow hides and you do them all once, then it could be faster. I still need to burn those, but I can order that. Um, but I'll get around to it soon. And that concludes the guide for today, so if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, add me as a friend on YouTube, subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up, and I'll see you tomorrow.